Get the highest rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Yeah, it's a wet, windy, and it is a mild, well, relatively mild uh, rain that we have out there. This Thursday's not looking so great. The tower cam shaking, of course, with all the wind. We can see some gusts up to around 30 miles an hour. That, of course, is our Heads construction camera out in the back, a few hundred feet up above on the tower, and it is looking out toward Highway 41, and we got a jittery view of the traffic going northbound and southbound. You can see downtown Evansville off in the distance there. As we take a look at downtown Owensboro, the trees still holding their colors. Smothers Park, of course, there's a Christmas tree uh, ready for the Christmas parade this weekend. It looks like the rain should taper off before the parade. Might even see a few flakes out there as it gets a little chillier, but it's not going to be too terrible. I mean, we've had colder parades. I know that in Owensboro. As we're looking to the east, you can see that wind really kicking the steam uh, from the Owensboro you plant uh, pretty quickly to the north. It's a south wind we've got out and about. So that's what's helping to warm us despite all the clouds that we have. Look at the raindrops on the lens in Powderly, Kentucky. That's our Pogato camera. Final stop, downtown Evansville. Looks like we've got a little raindrop on the lens here, too, on our iMark camera looking out toward the west side of town. Right now, the temperature's 52 degrees. We've got a wind that's really starting to, to ramp it up uh, from the southwest at 18 miles an hour. Again, pretty much sustained in that 10 to 20 range, but with gusts 25 to 30 possible this afternoon. So yeah, some pretty big winds out there. Can we do a little temperature run? Look at that, it's already 60 down in Morgantown. It's 49 Ligoti, it is 50 in French Lick, it's 51 in Princeton, 52 degrees in Evansville, 53 Vincennes, 54 Santa Claus, 55 in Dixon, 56 in Calhoun, 57 degrees in Madisonville. At least here in the tri-state, that's as warm as it gets, so nice little temperature run there. A lot of it depends on whether you're getting rain right now or not. Well, look at that wind in Carmine, sustained wind at 20 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour in Vincennes, and you've got 16 miles an hour Jasper, 14 in Santa Claus, most of us again in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range. Look at the sunrise this morning, what a beauty it was. Carrie Newman got the goods here, absolutely spectacular over the Ohio River. I mean, you don't need a whole lot of breaks in the clouds. But if you get them along the horizon, a lot of times, right at the right time at sunrise, you can get just an absolutely stellar view. And that's exactly what we had. Evansville looking good, too. This is Gary Howerton, downtown Evansville. He got this shot. He is Connie Howerton's brother. And just look at that fiery sky. Love it. Love this, too. In three, two, one, funky fruit. Today's funky fruit, tater face. You got the eyes, there's the nose. Looks like you've been a little mustache right there. And of course, got the bump on the old head right there as well. <laughs> I think the dog, I think Kelby liked it. Uh, we've got, a, look at this moderate pocket of rain now that's cropped up just south of 64 in northern Warwick County. So we are seeing some moderate pockets. Haven't noticed any lightning throughout the day today, although rumble of thunder certainly not out of the question. But that rain is going to be shifting more to the east. We still have a chance for a little bit of light rain. We're seeing a little bit of light rain on the back side. But once, I'd say you'll give it about an hour, hour and a half, this rain is pretty much out of the picture uh, to the east of the tri-state. And we'll just be seeing some spotty light rain showers on the back side. So a mainly dry afternoon, although a few sprinkles could still be hanging around too. You can see that line making pretty good progress to the east right now. But we still have two more waves that are going to be sliding on in and bring us a good chance of rain. Future Tracker, I think, overplaying the rain just a little bit later on this afternoon, although we do have that chance out there. And as we roll into tonight, rain starts to pick up just a little bit, but especially overnight is when I'm expecting it. You could see engulfed in rain first thing tomorrow morning. This is at 630 and some heavy rain at times, too. This should be the best chance to get a lot of rain over the next three days, and we've got the chance for rain again on Saturday. Now, here's the good thing about tomorrow. The rain is in and out by midday, and it looks like for most of the afternoon, maybe even a few breaks in the clouds, but we are going to be seeing, it looks like a dry Friday afternoon, and temperature's a little chillier, though. We are going to be only topping out, it looks like, in the upper 40s tomorrow. As we head into Saturday, here we go again with some morning rain, maybe even a few flakes out there, first thing on Saturday morning, too. So. Here's what it looks like rainfall-wise. Obviously, tomorrow's going to be our best chance for heavy rain, and it looks like mainly south of 64. One to two inches are possible out there. So really for all of us, they're possible, but especially to the south of 64. Most of us topping out mid to upper 50s today. A fairly wide range, but not too bad. I think once these temperatures start to recover after the rain stops, we'll see them bounce up a bit anyway with that strong south wind, 10 to 20 from the south and southwest, but gusting at times 25 to 30. And then over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be cooling off after our high today in the upper 50s. 
We've got upper 40s tomorrow, and then we've got mid 40s on Saturday. Good chances for rain all three days. And as we head into the weekend, you know, Saturday, we are going to see the rain taper off, it looks like, in time for the Owensboro Christmas Parade. The Evansville Christmas Parade looks really good on Sat Sunday afternoon with some sunshine out there. Temperatures going to be right around 50 degrees. A pretty good wind next week as we head into Thanksgiving week. In fact, a pretty good dousing, it looks like, Gretchen, on Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday, of course, that's a big travel day. Yes. Looks like a lot of wind out there. Right. Too, so you might get rocked a little bit if you're driving right. to Grandma's house. What kind of candy are you going to have in Owensboro? I got some ideas for Evansville. I think they're purchasing the candy, but you know what I need to do? I need to find some Clark cups and yes. start giving out the Clark cups yes. that I like so much. It's so the best. They're pretty good. I know where I can find them now. I've got, I've right. got the beat on. You've at least the got cups. the scoop. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with our pet of the day. Another cutie after this.